Hey lunatics, thanks for checking out my video and I hope you are able to learn from it. This will be a tethered jailbreak so basically anytime the device turns off you will have to repeat the last step using the Phoenix app. To start it off you're going to head to a website called Kuba Downloads and the links will be in the description down below. On Kuba Downloads there is going to be a section for the alt server patcher which basically is a tool to patch another tool, the alt server. So our first requirement will be to download the alt server, which can be done by going to that first link, and it should lead us to another page where we can actually install the alt server. And I will be creating a folder on my desktop to keep all the downloaded files in one place. Once the download is complete, we're going to have to unzip the file using either the Windows built-in archiver tool or I like to use 7-zip. Once you've extracted the file, you can go ahead and install the alt server on your machine. Once that is finished, we will need to get iTunes and iCloud, but not from the Windows Store. You can go ahead and look up iTunes. And we are going to want to pick the second option after scrolling down a bit to get the direct download. While that is downloading, we can go ahead and get iCloud. Once you're on the site, you can go ahead and click the banner with the download now option. And you're going to want to click the earlier versions of Windows iCloud. And instead of clicking on the button that they want you to click, you are going to instead choose the Windows 7 slash Windows 8 download from the website. While that's downloading, we can go ahead and install iTunes. Now I uncheck all the uh, default options because I don't actually want iTunes to be doing anything on my computer. It's just a requirement for the alt server. Once that's finished, we can go ahead and move on to installing iCloud. Once iCloud is finished installing, it's going to want you to restart your computer. So we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and we'll be back in a flash. Now that our computer is booted up again, you will see a iCloud login prompt, but you can go ahead and exit it out. And here's when you would want to connect your iPad to your computer as well. Now the last piece of software that you will be needing is the alt server patcher. And to do that, you just want to navigate back to the Kuba download section and install it. It's finished downloading. You are going to go ahead and open it up and you're going to get a prompt with a few options. You're going to want to change the utility to install to Phoenix. And then once you're done with that, you can click patch. Once that's done patching, you can go ahead and start the alt server program that we installed earlier. Now when you start it, nothing will show up, but if you navigate to your taskbar icons, there will be a gray kind of diamond shape, and there will be an option to install the alt store and your device name. 
clicking on your device name will trigger a login prompt for your Apple ID and you can go ahead and enter that information now. The next prompt will be a six digit code that you will find once you unlock your device. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click OK on the next prompt. A notification pop-up will appear saying that it is installing the alt server on your device. After a few seconds, there should be another pop-up saying that the installation has been completed. Once it's complete, you can go ahead and move on to your iPad. Once you have your iPad open, you are going to head into your settings. and then your general tab and you're going to scroll all the way down until you see the device management and you're going to click on your Apple ID here we can see the Phoenix app and to install it you're going to want to trust your Apple ID once that's done you can head on over and swipe to your new page and you should see a Phoenix app and it will say that it's prepared to jailbreak and you can go ahead and kickstart the jailbreak. And then you're gonna to want to select the use provided offsets. It'll do a few things and then it'll reboot itself. Once it's back on, you can Head into the Phoenix app to verify that it's been jailbroken. And you should have Cydia on your iPad now. Thanks for watching. Comment any questions you have below and like and subscribe if this video helped you.